Hi again everybody, it's Jasmine. I just recorded a tutorial for you guys using this eye look, doing this eye look. <laughs> and um, yeah, that will be up probably before this review, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Alright, now I'm going to be doing that review on all those products I showed you guys on Instagram about a week ago. But I tested them all and I put them to use and now I'm going to let you guys know what I think of them. The first thing is this eyeshadow that I got as what I'm wearing today. It's the Rimmel London, is it 21 or just tw 2? I think I said 2 in the tutorial, but it's 21. My bad. It's the State of Grace um, eyeshadow quad, and I really like this stuff. You guys get to see me put it on and use it and tell you guys how to use it and what all you can do with it. But it's really nice, and there's not a whole lot of fallout, and the pigment's pr pigment. <laughs> The pigments is pretty nice so yeah I really like this I would look into more of these not just crazy colors I my boyfriend got me this one I tell you all about it in the tutorial next I got a whole bunch of stuff I'll do the oh why did I grab that <laughs> I got two blushes the first one is from NYX it's a NYX blush in PB26 Rose Garden and I was so disappointed. It was my first NYX blush and I was really excited and I couldn't tell from the packaging because it was all closed and I didn't want to open it in the store. But it has so much shimmer in it. I'm all, it's like so pretty. The pink is so pretty but when you put it on there's so much gold glitter in it that you just, you just can't use it. You look all glittery and I don't like that. I don't really like a whole lot of shiny stuff on my face. And if it's shiny, I want it to be like a sheen, not because it's glitter. But look how pretty that is. I have to figure out what else to use this for. If you guys know what else you could use this for, probably eyeshadow. I think eyeshadow would be good for this, you know. So if you guys have any ideas what I could use this for, please let me know down in the comments below. But this is a poo, unfortunately, because it's such a pretty color. <sighs> Anyways. The other blush I got was from, oh, did I tell you guys this is from NYX? It's from NYX. The other one is from NYC. It's their Color Wheel, no, no, Color Wheel Mosaic Face Powder. This one is in 723A Pink Cheek Glow. I am actually wearing this today on the apples of my cheek and going up. And it is, just looks like this. And it's really cool. My boyfriend, fiance, whatever you guys want me to call him. Um, he saw me grab this and he goes, oh my god, that's so cool looking. And I was like, yeah, that's why I grabbed it. But it's very natural very light you guys can kind of see it on my finger right now it takes a building up but it's super nice because i'm not a big blush person my cheeks are naturally red so i don't wear it a whole lot but um when i do wear it when i do wear blush i i should go grab this along with my along with this the guys the thing the blush palette i showed you guys that i got for valentine's day i wear this and the this blush and the inner part you know, you know what I mean. Yeah. So, I would definitely buy this one again. I actually really, really like this one. Yay! For another poo. Yeah, I'm not a big person of bronzers, but I got it anyway. It's another Rimmel product. It is their natural bronzer. It says it's a waterproofing bronzing powder. It is in sunshine. And it's a really cute color. You can see how shiny it is. And you guys know where I'm going with this. There is so much glitter. Like, you can't even tell. That's really pretty. It, like, blends into my finger. And it's really natural. And it was such a nice color. But once you put it on, you can see the glitter on your face. Just like the NYX. I wore them together. Not realizing they both had glitter in them. And I was glittery all day. Because I was in a hurry. Not fun at all people were like why do you have glitter on your face and i was like it's a long story but anyway this is a really nice natural color i just wish there wasn't so much glitter in it unfortunately but if, i mean if you like glitter if you get glitter on your face i mean i do i put glitter on my face but not when i'm trying to do stuff like this i do not like it but if you like it then this is for you it, again it is the rimmel natural bronze in sunshine number 20. now i got two face powders setting powders and, and one of them is from NYC, another NYC product. It's the Smooth Finish Press Face Powder in Naturally Beige 702A. I am wearing it today and I really, really like this stuff. It's so hard for me to find a powder because I can tend to get dry patches. But this has been so lovely to me. It came with a little 
powder puff thing and I hate those things. It has a small little mirror as you guys can see. But I love this powder. It looks light but once I put it on it just blends beautifully into my skin. And it's lovely. It doesn't. It has like a small like, like makeup smell. But other than that, it's really, really nice. And it blends really lovely, too. So you guys can't even really tell I'm wearing it. It's so nice. I like it so much. I would repurchase this again. Yes. Anyway, the last face powder I got, I finally grabbed this, is another Rimmel product. It is their Stay Matte Long Lasting Press Powder in Creamy Natural Number 11. They don't have very... Well, when I went to Target, they didn't have very many colors. And this was the second darkest one they had but the other dark one was like way too dark for me so I grabbed this one and it is really really nice it's a perfect natural color and I mean it's just so nice I've actually chosen this one over the NYC press powder I just showed you guys because this has just been perfect for me I tend to get really oily like most people in the t-zone and sometimes like right here it's really weird I don't know why but this has been a holy grail for me. I absolutely love, love, love this stuff. I would recommend this to anybody and I would definitely repurchase this again. And the last and final product I bought was the L'Oreal Color Rich Lipstick number 176 Sunset Angora. It is a beautiful pinky corally color. I love it so much, so much. Look how pretty it is. Oh yeah. And I've worn it a couple times. I it's almost it's like a poo and a win at the same time because it's such a pretty color. That's why it's a win and it's so creamy, but once you put it on, it like it dries out like my mouth a little bit. It starts to feel dry. And that's really upset me because it was such a pretty color. Oh, I wore it like all week and I keep trying to figure out ways to make it not get that way. But no matter what I do, liners, chapsticks, just this, no matter what, it's still a poo and dries out my lips. So it's a poo. It's a love-hate relationship. That's what this is. But other than that, I will definitely try most of those color that color line again that line again the color rich line and i will keep trying to figure out ways for you guys to wear this all right that is it i believe yes it is so i will see you guys next week with more tutorials more reviews another haul who knows all right i love you guys have a wonderful day bye